Okay, on this tutorial, we're going to go over how to use the PTAB and how to use radios. So first and foremost, if you don't have a kit set up, um, always just go into the arsenal and set up your kit. I'm just going to do it off of this guy here. Um, I'm going to go to my backpack and I'm going to grab an ANPRC-152. Um, these are the standard radios that we use, so make sure you have it. I also have a S20 Tactical Edition Galaxy. Um, reason for that, that is our pretty much our GPS unit that we use in the unit. Once I have that in my kit, I can save the kit, whatever. I'm not going to do that because it's a tutorial. But I want to show you how to use both these pieces of equipment. So first thing we're going to go over is a T-Tab or GPS. What that is, is if you look here, see all these weird orange dots. What those are, they're players, or not other players, NPCs that I can see. When you have players that are in your team, you're going to be able to see them near you. Now you might say, hey, like, you know, I can't see the whole map on this, on the CTAP. I want to, you know, maybe zoom out a little bit like you would on an iPhone. Well, no, no problem there. You can actually do that. So you're going to press left control, left shift, and then page up and down. You see I zoomed in there, I believe. Yeah, so my key binding is not set for zooming out, but you did see me zoom in there. So if you don't have that key binding, go check. Controls, figure add-ons, should be C tab right here. We see zoom in and zoom out. So the zoom out key bind was different. I want it to be a control of shift page down. This one here, and now it should work. Press OK. Back to page down. You see I zoom all the way out. I can see a big part of the map. Zoom all the way in. So as you're moving, you're doing different things. You can zoom out whatever the tactical situation requires. Um, that's the basic controls for a C tab. I just press H. I want to go up higher like this and see what's on. I can press left control H and you'll see this arrow it will show me different metadata. So wherever the arrow is at the end of the arrow it shows me the grid coordinate, the distance and the elevation, as well as the bearing to that. I'll see that down here. It shows me my current grid coordinate right here, my current bearing. Okay. Now let's go over radios. Okay, you go self interaction, you'll see radios not pop up. I always have two because what I have is one on my team net and then one on whatever level is higher. Um, and I usually do that even if I'm not in a leadership position, so I can at least hear like, okay, what's actually going on, like. What's the communication? What's the higher end intent and planning going on? You're not supposed to say anything if you're not in leadership and you're on a higher channel, but it does help to understand what's going on and helps to build your picture of, okay, what do you actually have to do rather than you're pulling security and it's silent for a little bit while people are talking to figure out their plan. Then you have a, a radio message that's playing past the telephone. So that can help you a lot, where if you're in a team leader position, you have to have multiple channels talking to your team and then talking to someone else. Um, this is how you do that. So we're gonna set one to one ear, meaning on our headset, one channel will broadcast on our left side of our headset and one channel will broadcast on another. So I'm gonna do uh, radio one as my left ear. I'm gonna just do this, this interaction right here. I release it, set to my left ear. Do the second one is my right ear, and it's good to go. Now, if I do my communication buttons, um, it will go and do that. You need to make sure you have your acre button set for that. Add on options, correction, controls, configure add ons. Go down to acre two. And here are the buttons right here. So you can have up to three radios. You can transmit on one at a time. I'm just going to change this key binding to tilt up because that's what I've always had it as. Press OK. And we see right here I'm pressing cap locks. So this would be radio 1. Pressing tilt up, radio 2. And it would say L and R. Which, which side of your headset is it coming from? L and R. So you can have two different channels. Now how do I change a channel? Good question. I'm going to go left or 2. I'm going to go open. And these are going to be whatever the mesh of text and game it'll actually say the name of your team like reaper one reaper two whatever all you do is you just click plus and minus in the pre and it'll bring you up and down now if you want to clear or not clear but change the volume 
all you do is you left click on the volume here and then left click again go up right click to go down if you want to be done with this just press exit and it's set so you can change the volume and the channel do that for each one and you're good to go now let's say you want radio 2 to be your um your push to talk button one you can simply just go and say hey set this as the first radio so if you mess something up or whatever then i'm going to switch ears you can just go switch ptt or whatever so that's how you do radios and that's how you do ctab